Now, a video has been released on the internet purporting to show uh, U.S. military personnel firing at civilians in a Baghdad square in 2007. Two journalists, uh, one journalist, Reuters journalist, and his driver were killed in that attack. Um, this uh, video has just been released by the uh, online whistleblower uh, WikiLeaks. We can now speak to a member of WikiLeaks. Uh, joining us uh, from Washington is the editor of WikiLeaks.org, Julian Assange. Thank you very much for joining us. So first of all, uh, take us through what exactly, in a, in a nutshell, what this video shows. This is a video of an Apache helicopter attack on the 12th of July 2007 in the Iraqi suburb of New Baghdad. Um, it shows a number of things. It shows an attack on a group of uh, people, two of which are Reuters journalists from Baghdad. Uh, those people are killed by 30, mil 30 millimeter cannon fire. There seems to be some uh, initial confusion as to whether uh, some of those people are carrying weapons uh, and that the Reuters uh, uh, photographer's camera was in fact a weapon. But it proceeds from what might have been uh, an excuse for not concentrating too much to something much more serious. Um, when one of the Reuters photographers is crawling away wounded, uh, clearly doesn't have a weapon, clearly is of no threat, and a van tries to rescue him uh, with passers-by and two children inside, uh, that van is then attacked uh, and the uh, Reuters um, staff member, uh, Saeed, uh, is killed along with all the people in that van except for the two children who survived um, but were seriously wounded. Yes, uh, I was... After that... Yes. No, no, please continue. Sorry I'm sorry, go on. No, no, please continue. Please continue. Just, just 20 minutes after that serious and disturbing event, a Hellfire missile attack is conducted on a nearby house that from the, the roof appears to be under construction. Um, and that attack uh, kills another, we, the, by the military records, uh, six people, but potentially maybe significantly more, another six. Um, the military say that uh, insurgents uh, went in that house or, or lived in, in that house or went into the building. Um, but our people uh, have shown that, in fact, that there were three uh, families uh, in that house, and we have the, the records uh, of some of their deaths, uh, including right. uh, two women um, and, and so on. Um, it is possible that um, uh, some armed men uh, walked into that house, but um, the um, majority of the people in that house uh, seem, at least the people who live right. there, seem to be regular families, and uh, we have uh, evidence uh, from the person who owned the house and uh, f photographic evidence uh, of the Hellfire missiles and so okay. on. Okay, uh, how sure can we be of the authenticity of this video? Not only the picture itself, but also the voiceover, um, the voices we hear, which I'm assuming are the pilots in the cockpit of this helicopter, yes, because yes. those are, are quite revealing in many ways. How sure can we be that this yes. is the real deal? Well, as, so, as sure as uh, one can be of anything in life. Um, the material is internally uh, totally consistent, but also there was a Washington Post reporter uh, who uh, was um, with that unit, the mil U.S. military unit, uh, on the ground uh, on the day. And uh, he wrote a chapter in a book uh, which was published last year, a book called The Good Soldiers, uh, which correlates uh, directly uh, to the material in that video, including uh, to the radio transcript uh, for the first half. Right. Um, that's a strong correlation. Also, Reuters uh, conducted a number of investigations and uh, interviewed two ground witnesses um, at the time. Right. Uh, that story wasn't really taken seriously by the by world audience that it's just another few reporters dying uh, in, in Baghdad uh, and nothing to back up the witnesses but uh, now we have the video that shows that the witnesses were correct uh, also there was a, an Iraqi right. police report uh, that Reuters say uh, agrees uh, with their witnesses no. and all of them sorry agree with the video. Sorry to interrupt you, not, not long afterwards um, 
Lieutenant Colonel Scott Blykewell from the U.S. military told the New York Times, quote, there's no question that coalition forces were clearly engaged in combat operations against a hostile force. You, you even uh, mentioned that quote on your, on your website and on the video itself. And of course, when Reuters requested the video from the Pentagon under the Freedom of Information Act, they didn't get it. With all of that in mind, do you firmly believe that there was a cover-up at play here? Uh, there was certainly spinning the message and it does seem like there has been uh, a cover-up. Um, the rules of engagement that were used for, for that uh, circumstance, if, uh, if the internal assessment was that those rules were correctly applied, and that is the statement the US military made to Reuters, uh, then those rules are a serious, serious problem if they permit such events. Um, but there were, there were clear uh, lies made um, at the time and uh, shortly after um, about the military, for example, not knowing how the children were in injured and, and trying to suggest uh, that they didn't know uh, how the journalists uh, were killed. Um, and very early on they listed uh, all the people killed other than the children uh, as insurgents. Julian Assange, pleasure hearing your thoughts. Thank you very much for agreeing to talk to us here on Al Jazeera.